Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Encased. I'm very excited to play a bit more of this. We've just been briefed by the big dude, and he's told us, listen, big fella, it's a bit serious. We're going to send you out on some special mission. Um, I, I wonder, it doesn't really address why I jumped the queue. I don't think it does, right? Because that's part of my backstory. I was like 63,000 thin queue or some nonsense. Um... But they said they've had to redirect me and send me out there because they were short blues on the last uh, sort of contact team to figure out what happened to uh, whatever the name of the base was. Now, Magellan has to wait, has an urgent task for you. Yeah, cool. Oh, is that completed quests? Okay, cool. Main quest, my story. All contact with Nashville was lost. Nashville, that's where we're going. Short film was quite entertaining. Right. A series of strange events. I don't know, can I track my story as well? Whatever, let's track that. Yeah, sure. Um Yeah, but I kinda I, I wish the the quests were a little bit easier to understand. Single urgent task awaits you, but first he wants a brief. After which you will go into the details, which we did. Radio contact with Nashville was recently lost. You know, I get that. First task under the dome is quite important. Told you head for C12 Nashville. Last group did the same thing. Unfortunately, all contact with... Okay. You've been instructed to get in touch with the group and restore contact. What about you, Adolf? Can you help me with this? Mm, yes. Ask what to do next. Schmidt smooths down a bumpy stitch in his finger. The stairs from the guard room lead to the storage parking. Look for the orange tractor truck. I think that's that there. The driver's name is Clara Morgan, and she'll take you to the object. Have a good one. I, w I will have a good one. Thank you. Oh, no, there's a tractor truck there. Look at this cute little thing. A hog. Todd, Ulf, Durell. Oh wow, look at this. This whole facility goes underneath. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. Um, maybe I just talk to the... Can I just talk to the tractor truck? I don't see a driver. Maybe there's, Maybe she's just sitting in there waiting for me. Oh! An orange crawler truck is waiting at gate 3. The vehicle's number has been scrubbed off by the desert wind and sand. This must be the transport Kingsley spoke of. The driver's side door is half open. A young woman is sitting sideways in the driver's seat, legs hanging oh, out. good day. She offers her hand. Hi, I'm Clara Morgan, and you're the novice going to Nashville, right? What's your name? How do you feel? Do you mind if I smoke in the car? Her handshake is surprisingly fi uh, firm. Clara smells of soap. That's right, we're gonna sniff her, are we? Some fragrance and slightly of gasoline. Um, okay, ignore her. <laughs> Introduce yourself. So that you need to straighten a couple of things. Um, well, I'll ask her what she knows about Nashville. I think that's probably the most pertinent, you know. This is obviously quite serious. The blue adjusts the crucifix hanging from her neck. It's a miracle of the Lord. A lot of rare relics have been coming out of Nashville recently. It's like a modern El Dorado. You know what El Dorado is, don't you? El Dorado is a... <laughs> Clara rambles on for some time about the huge cave under Nashville and the hundreds of relics pouring out of it every week. Report that you're ready to start the mission. Yeah, let's do it. You climb into the cabin and plunk yourself down in the passenger seat. The truck seems bigger on the inside. A wooden rosary is hanging from the driver's mirror. The radio murmurs quietly. All right. Heavy duty dri driving. Ants are not available. Ah, oh, no good. Lean back in your chair. So she's, she's pretty religious. Good for her, I reckon. That's her business. Clara slams her door. And we're, are we going then? You should probably go now. Uh, should probably go now. The roads are bad. Very little asphalt. Dirt tracks mostly. God willing, we'll get there before the storm hits. Mind if I turn the radio up a bit? Do you like music? Blues? Gospel? I, for instance, like... <laughs> you can't make out exactly what Clara likes. The roar of the engine smothers the rest of her sentence, and the truck lurches into motion. 
cool. Oh, look at this little little thing. Traveling a long time. Roadside picnic staging post. Oh, this is cute. I like this. By 1973, the northern and eastern parts of the dome were covered by a development network of roads along with related infrastructure, cafes, motels, and of course, gas stations. Today, there are a little more than a dozen gas stations. The Cronus management expects to bring the number up to 50 by 75. Dome is your new home leaflet. That's cool. Some serious heavy duty like infrastructure development, which would be part of it because it, as much as it's cool being uh, explorers of this sci fi phenomenon, there is still a very big component of a, a modern f colonialization, perhaps, you know, a new world, as it were. The highway leading to C 12 Nashville is blocked by an anomalous storm, and you're forced to detour over a mountain pass. Hmm. Soon, the radiator boils over, and you have to stop. Clara lifts up the hood and thoroughly examines the steaming radiator. The engine's boiling, so we'll have to wait. You do know what happens when a car boils, It's not right? great. It's... The blue shuts her mouth abruptly and stares anxiously at the dark funnel cloud dancing on the horizon. Now that you're on higher ground, it's clear that the storm has overtaken a fairly large section of road. Oh no. It will be difficult to pass. Yeah, yeah. Ask her what we should do next. Propose that she should call for assistance. No, 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 not necessarily. The she might know better. The engine again. We wait. As soon as it cools down, we'll go. This storm worries me more, but it's not an insurmountable problem. Good attitude. I heard there are some relics at the local gas station that protect against anomalies. You could even accidentally step on one out here, they say. Mysterious are the ways of the world. Oh, it's still cutting off dialogue. I was just thinking, actually, like, if a phenomenon... Now, it is the 70s as well. I'm not necessarily trying to say we're in more enlightened than people in the 70s, because in time, in you know, in the scheme of things, it's not a lot of time. But... I would wonder if the discovery of this this anomaly ridden like weird sci-fi fantasy, you know, I, I wonder if this would actually have the effect on people who take up religion more aggressively in the modern world. You know, I don't necessarily want to get into it too much, but there's no denying there is a there is a more heavy duty movement of like say nihilism or atheism or whatever you want to even look at it from. I'm not trying to open that fucking can up too much. But that, you know, that's much more modern idea on the edge of science and that sort of stuff. Um, but I've always wondered, and I'm sure you've had the hypothetical presented, you know, if a, if a god for real rocked up to you say, you, say you're an atheist or something, and a god rocked up in front of you and said, hey, fucking surprise, I'm actually real. You know, I think a lot of people would start being religious. <laughs> so, you know, um, so I got to wonder if like this sort of this thing would affect the religious sort of population number. Hmm. It's curious. Ask her to tell you more about the relics. Ask about anomaly storms like this one. Find out what's interesting about the gas station. That you'll go to the gas station and figure everything out. Tell me more about these relics. Your companion perks up a bit. She seems to be interested in this subject. Hmm. This place is registered as a resource anomaly zone. Do you know what that is? It's when the relics mined there have been studied and deemed useful. Oh, okay. Not much is known about these relics. They dampen anomaly fields, even very strong ones. They're also uh, found in other parts of the dome. They're known as bronze apples or aluminium apples. I don't remember, but something like that. Right. Ask about the anomaly storm. Yeah, I'm curious. The blue looks at the storm once more. There have been more and more of these lately, and they're getting stronger. I personally think it's divine judgment for how we've squandered the riches under the dome. Oh, okay. Fair enough. She sighs and squirms. I knew people who got caught in one of those storms. They blow up so fast, there's no chance to get away. God rest their souls. The blue makes the sign of the cross. Hey, right. Find out what's interesting about the gas Morgan station. Thanks for a moment. It's a combination cafe gas station called Roadside Picnic. Never been there myself, but there's something off about it. 
There are several anomalies around there, and weird relics. Supposedly, machines and structures decay much faster than they should in that area. Oh. But maybe that's just a story. You never know in this sort of world. Alright, I'm gonna go check it out. I guess she's staying here. Am I going this way, you reckon? Oh yeah, this looks promising. What's going on here? Cronus Transit Points. Soon in every corner of the dome. Alright. Roger. What is that? Decommissioned turret. Seems worrisome, doesn't it? Examine fuel barrel. Climb ladder. What is that? There's something with an exclamation. What is that? The tanks are empty and produce a hollow echo when you tap on them. From all the way back here, you say. Oh, was there someone in there just then? Ah, there is. Let's go in. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like a Tomashev. Let's have a talk to the man behind the counter, eh? Who the hell goes there? That's me, Aaron. Scruffy old man with a matted beard is sitting in front of the checkout terminal. Yeah. The badge on his blue jumpsuit is long since bleached away. The name Aaron Melville is written there in black marker. With a groan, he picks up a magnifying glass and peering through it, begins poking at the keyboard with one knobby finger. It's me editing my videos. Computer plays a short tune, a checkmate. The system declares. The old man angrily sets the magnifying glass aside. A grandmaster? You're a piece of junk, not a grandmaster. And a cheater to boot. He raises his head to squint in your direction. Eh? What do you want? I don't advise eating here and there's nothing to buy. And either way, we're closed. <laughs> the shopkeeper rises from his seat. And you notice he's sporting a peg where his left leg should be. Oh. Hmm. Ask why he's so unfri- well, there's no need for that. Wouldn't mind a snack. Your truck broke down. What- a lot of this is pretty antagonistic. Say your truck broke down. The old down. man throws up his hands with a scowl. Oh. Then go fix it. How do you trick- can you protect the truck from anomalies? Melville reluctantly points a crooked finger at the front door. Go out there and walk over to the gas station. Go down to the basement. There's an anomaly. A tree. It's glowing, and there are some golden thingies hanging off it. We make special devices from that fruit called anomaly protectors. Oh. If one be laying around on the floor, go grab it, then put it in the truck, and bug off to... Where was it you was it going to? <laughs> That's where you bug off to. The blue starts slapping the pockets on his overalls. Okay. After a little digging, he pulls out a little key on a shoelace. Only take the device, you hear? It's company property. I should be charging you myself, as a matter of fact. Take the key and move away. You know what? We'll leave him we'll leave him to his business. What is this? Do you remember us passing a supermarket last week? I'm thinking about that purse with glass beads. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. You sound like boring. <laughs> Alright, so he said go over to the other building and go into the basement. Opened with you. What wouldn't dead end job. Well, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, man. You can't leave me hanging. Trav. Greetings. Man in a dirty blue jumpsuit is sitting on the bench of the gas station. He's holding a cotton pad and balancing a piece of rock between his rock on his knees. What? The blue moistens the cotton pad with alcohol and runs it over the stone. Then he squeezes the essence into a metal jar. The jar emits a golden light. Oh, that's fancy. The cotton pad freezes mid wipe. The blue looks up. You read his badge. Travis Brightman, Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Are you going inside the gas station? I wouldn't recommend it. The blue squeezes the pad and sets it aside. You can see he's a little nervous. Ask him what's wrong with the gas station. Brightman shivers as if suddenly chilled. Look, it's like this. There are all kinds of anomalies, and some of them are just horrible. You get me? There are a lot of such places, and awful things happen to anyone who stumbles across them. The gas station itself isn't that bad. 
with the basement. Travis looks thoughtfully into the void. There's something there, something like a tree, and it's running out of room. Soon it'll be too big for the space, mark my words. Sometimes it sheds these smaller relics. They're nothing special, but they do protect you from all kinds of anomalies, which is useful. I found one myself, but the effect is already worn off, and I'm not going back in for another. He gestures you to lean in. There's someone in the basement. A very skeezy someone. Not alive, but also not dead. In one word, a nasty thing, and I don't recommend meeting it. Oh, Jesus. Now, what are you doing? I was curious about that. Brightman scans you closely. That's not a rhetorical question, is it? I'm sitting outside a weird gas station with a basement straight out of weird tales, mining relic dust. Ask if it's legal? I guess that's all I can say. He crosses his arms. Well, technically, no, but Cronus encourages the black market for relics every way they can, so... Wait, really? I like that it says charm and it, the answer's not available. It doesn't tell me what I'm missing out on. I, I appreciate that. Ask if there's anything interesting around here. Might as well. Place is full of interesting stuff. It's an anomalous zone after all. Machinery doesn't last long in this area, so I walked here. The whites say it's typically retrograde anomaly. Um, and I even know where the source is. The blue turns to look meaningfully at the gas station behind him. It's all from the gas station. It's a huge second class fractal relic in the basement and sometimes small golden balls fall off of it. I would like to, I would take a couple for myself, but well, there's something weird going on there and I advise you to stay away. He looks at his Kairos. Oh yeah, there's a path behind the diner that leads to the swamp. That's where you find the micro lux. I've marked the place as worthless, though it's beautiful, of course. Why is it worthless? A man working in the swamp told me wherever you find Microlux, you find the Mobios. Mobius? Mo Mobios, right? Mobius would be with a U. Well, whatever the Mobi wherever the Mobios are, you'd better not go. I'm glad the passage to the swamp has been blocked with rocks. Feels safer, Brightman explains. Oh, wow. Look at all this interesting stuff. Find out what exactly is going on in the basement. Waves you off. All right, as long as you leave me out of it. <clears throat> Two words, something living. So there's something alive in there and it barely, barely resembles a human being. That's enough for me to keep my distance. Okay. Have a good one. I will. Uh, what I might do is save, because I don't really know how the save system, like the auto save system, these sort of games, you know, the Fallout style Soul games, have a habit of uh, saving poorly. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. <laughs> um, ammunition box? You reckon I should just loot all this shit? Oh, that's my gear. Like, why not? Chemistry workbench? What can we do with that? Oh. Sterile bandages. Oh, well, nothing's, nothing's flashed up as green. Oh, let's get looting. Lockpick? Yeah, we need them. Give me everything, baby. Where's that ammo box? Is that... Oh, it is in here somewhere? Locked. Hmm. Hang on. Lock pick. Insufficient ability score. So I can't do it at all? Okay, that's fine. And do I have like another lock pick or like what is this? Med kit. Is there a way to sort my inventory? Maybe like sort, there we go. Spare parts. Okay, okay. Where are you going? Oh, that large container must be outside. I'm not that worried to be honest. Oh, we got a shovel. 
coolies. No, that's outside. Okay, so it's all it's all getting on top of each other a bit. Oh, what's going on here? Nothing found. All right. So there's a ladder up to the roof. Interesting. And then there's... Oh my god, that's intimidating. Let's go have a look. What is a house if not a fortress? This good old concept came to its logical conclusion in the 60s when they first began to construct bomb shelters under private residences en masse. I never believed that nuclear war was inevitable, but people need to feel safe, right? With the Dome's discovery, nuclear war is yesterday's news. Aliens are the new hot topic. The shelters be being built now are a precaution against the second coming of the forefathers. All right, okay. So it is confirmed that it's alien. Interesting. And not like divine or even Earth-related. Earth. Oh, wow. This green stuff looks not good for me. Pile of paper, let's go. I got an exploration bloody... Wait, what's so secret over here? Oh, ventilation shaft. Oh, shit. Dude, look at that thing. Um, maybe we'd be... Sen let's be sensible about this. Oh, well, he's just going to see me here. Quick. Quick, run away. -hoo 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 -hoo. Part of me wants to fight him, though, because we haven't really done combat. You know? You know what? I will... I'll, I'll, uh, I'll save it here and we'll see. Now, I'm very anti-save scum, but I'm not... Like, I want to fight this dude, but these sort of games... Like, it's not like you can make an informed decision here, you know? This dude is either going to fist me well hard in the head, or... Oh. Oh, wow, pipe wrench. Where's my health bar? How bad is this poison? Toxic corrosion. How do I, uh... Health points. Oh, no. Experience. Oh, it's a bit hard to tell what's going on here. Biochemical resistance. Hang on. Uh, medical stuff. Med kit. Radiation and thirst. Nah, I don't think that'll help me here. Alright, we'll just wait for this bloke to come back and then we'll shoot him a couple of times. Well, he seems to be immune to the toxic, which is interesting. I managed to squeeze some shots in, but uh, to no avail. Not enough ammo. Uh oh. Not enough ammo. Reload. Single shot. Formidable shot. Can I do that? Now, can I just shoot normally? I oh, know you could. Okay, so I have to press 1 to shoot. Okay, I understand that. Let's do the formidable. Oh, that's not very formidable at all. Deep growl. I'm out of AP. So, uh, skip turn. Space. Oh, no! So, tell me more about this shot. Okay, 11 to 14. Oh. Max weapon range. Oh, it increases your weapon range. Damage 90%. Damage 
Plus times two perception. Living creatures lose two AP. Oh, interesting. Well, how much have I got? Ten. So I could squeeze in three shot. I could squeeze in a formidable shot. And two kind of normie shots. Oh, no, here he comes. He's going to hit me. Saves one AP. Oh, I've got nine AP. Hang on. We can take it. We can take the hit. Ow. Alright. Reload. Let's do a formidable shot. Because that fucks with his AP, I think. Oh! Come on. We can, we can finish it. He's nearly dead, right? Oh, it's neck and neck, though. Let's go, baby! I'm in the Hurt Locker, though. Jesus Christ. Um, what are we going to do about that? What is this? Throwing weapon. <laughs> Blunt weapon. Oh, it does more damage than my pistol. Man, maybe I should equip that. So I'm not really interested in psi damage. I don't think I am. Um, okay, medical. Now, what's this do? Med kit. Consume. Hey, that was helpful. Look at this. Poisoning, decrease heat resistance, med kit. Now, it looks like maybe I can level up or something. Is that what's going on here? Oh, okay, cool. Abilities. So, I, maybe I can have, can I have one of these or something? Is that, no, okay. No, I have to... Skill points, 17. Roger. All right. Um, now, what's this? Oh, 60. At 60, that changes. Oh, and at 30. Is it always 30, 60, 90? It looks like it is. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can't um, level something up. Maybe we push light weapons all the way out to 60. Like that. There we go. That's cool. And then what about applied? I like the idea of more applied stuff. Oh, tech is so close to 60. What is this? Gunsmithing. Repair. Robot maintenance. I need more science. Let's make this 60. There we go. So I've got tinkerer, overclocking, more spikes, melee weapons. Oh, maybe I need to get my melee weapons up. About survival. Dismantling. Strip. Cookery. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Alright. Any of these missing out? Not really. It was just... Science 25. Maybe we push science out. Let's start pushing science up. I'll be a smart boy. Okay. Okay. And then we we gotta loot this dude, right? Nothing. Oh. I really do wanna. If I shoot the fuel barrel, do you think maybe? No, I was hoping maybe it would clear the poison or something. I'm not sure. All right, anyway, cool. That was a good fight. Even though I'm bashed, I'm half health. I still think it was worth it. Absolutely. What do all these abilities do? Dismantling. Dig. I do have a shovel. That's true. Okay. Cool. Right. I should scan that anomaly, shouldn't I? That's a good idea. Okay, cool. Well, we'll finish up there. 
And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll explore the rest of this basement and then get out of here. But it's pretty dangerous and I don't have a lot of health, <laughs> so I'm not sure. Alright team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.